Hi everyone, this is Karen, co-founder of Docent EDU and English teacher. One of the things um, that I've always been uh, frustrated with is that I could never embed things in my Google Docs to make them a really kind of seamless blended lesson. But with Docent EDU, you can do that now, which is really exciting. So I'm going to show you in this video how to change um, a Google Doc into an engaging blended lesson for your students. So first thing is you have a Google Doc that you want to use. You're going to click on File. And then you're going to click publish to the web and publish. Yes. Okay. So now I have that link. I'm going to copy that link, paste that in. And now, as you can see, I have my published Google doc. Now I'm going to use Dozen edu to make it into a blended lesson. So I'm going to click on my extension and up pop my pops, my toolbar. You can see too, one of the great things about Dozen is it moves everything over so that it looks um, more like your original doc did as well. So uh, first things, I have my objective. You know, I'm teaching um, Romeo and Juliet. I want them to understand some certain things. So the first thing that I want to do is be able to differentiate from my students. Um, I have this video here that's really great that um, has the language in plain text, plain English, I guess you could say. So I'm going to embed that video right at the beginning. Um, I also want my students to be able to understand a little bit more about what the setup is. So I'm going to embed that video after my second objective because this video goes with my second objective. Now you can see that my students can watch those videos right in the Google Doc. Also, then I really want to make sure that my students um, understand what they're what they're reading. So I want to have um, a question right at the end of this. Um, what is the setting of the play? Because they should have gotten that from those two lines. Another thing that I would like to have them look at is this famous line here. What do you think star crossed means? You know, and then I'm going to have them read. And lastly, what I really like to have them do is to have a discussion. So I'm going to put a discussion at the end here and saying, based on the reading, what do you predict the play will be about? Use at least one piece of textual evidence to support your answer. Now I can create this and I can have a live discussion right here with my students. All of them can do that on the blended lesson. And then what I really like to do is go and after we've had a discussion and after they've watched the videos and I, I've done my formative assessment is that we can now have a whole class discussion um, and do that whole activity together live. So the beauty of blended things. I do need to assign this to my class. So I'm going to click. I'm going to click there, assign that to my class, and now it is assigned to my class. So that's how you can use Google Docs to make a great blended lesson differentiated for your different students in your English language arts classroom.